That gorgeous Triceratops skull was purchased by the American Museum of Natural History from Charles Sternberg, and it was attached to a body, AMNH FARB 5033, and two other specimens to create this gorgeous composite Triceratops. We see here the tail has a lot of original bone in it, and the missing elements were cast from three other specimens that were in the American Museum collection. Triceratops has a back end that's underrated. Ten sacral vertebrae, huge iliac blades mean massive attachment of muscles. The back end is over seven feet off the ground, and this isn't even amongst the largest of the ceratopsians. But what gives everyone pause is the forelimb. How is that humerus mounted? They mounted it almost horizontal to the ground, which makes no sense. Yet Osborne in his paper describes that's because those horns and shields were being used in combat. Today, we don't mount them anywhere near as horizontal. We do, however, still debate over the angle that the humerus, radius, ulna, and scapula should be. And if you want to have some fun, get yourself a forelimb of a triceratops and try yourself.